to value problems. So we want to know what quantity is seven units away from zero. What numbers are seven units away from zero? Seven or negative seven. So we were going to set it up as two equations. We did this Friday. The only difference now is we've got that coefficient in front. So we've got to do two instead of one. So we add three, two P equals 10 divided by two, two P equals five. Over here, we add three, negative four, two P equals negative four divided by two, P equals negative two. So P equals five or P equals negative two. So when it's equation, it's always or. So that, that part's not any different. The one thing we get from equation we set it equal to the or to the positive and then also to the negative. Two equations, solve them. So let's turn it into an inequality then. So absolute value of 10 minus 2k greater than or equal to six. Same thing here. We know six is six units away. We also know that negative six is six units away. When you leave it as the positive, everything comes down exactly the same. Or the negative, we make that the opposite. And because we basically divided by a negative, we have to flip the inequality sign. So remember, when you change it to the negative, flip your inequality sign the opposite way. Subtract 10. Negative four. Okay, so negative two k is greater than or equal to negative four. We divide by a negative two, which gets us two, but we divide it by a negative. What do we have to do? Flip the sign. This one has a flipping going on. So subtract ten. Negative sixteen. Divide by negative two. We get the positive eight, but we divide it by that negative. So again, we flip our sign. Now for the graphing, we have eight, we have two. They both have the line, so they both have a dot. K is greater than eight, K is less than two. So this one, it is an or because of the fact that they're going in both directions. Uh, let's do one more. Just to get you totally on the right page. All right, we have the absolute value of x divided by 2 minus 3 less than or equal to 2. So the absolute value of two gets us two, but negative two is also two units away. For the positive, remember, keep the sign exactly as it appeared. For the negative, we're going to flip the sign. So it becomes greater than, we now have x over two minus three. We can start on this one as fine. Three minus two gets us one. How can we get rid of dividing by two? Or just times by two, either way. If it was basically if it was the fraction one half, we are times it by two or one, which is the reciprocal. Okay. So x is greater than or equal to two. Over here, we're going to add three, five. So again, to the, get rid of division, multiply by two. X is less than or equal to ten. In this case, we have two and we have 10. Both of them are a dot greater than two, less than 10. All right, so let's do some of those on 488. First year gonna be really easy. 1 to 17 odd, 
And then I want you to try number 25. I say on 25, they give you an equation to be that says hence use that. Okay. 488, 117 odd, and 25. 